The second trailer for the live action One Piece adaptation coming to Netflix just dropped and honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm enjoying seeing the characters and almost as much seeing the scenery and sets that heavily resemble the ones we got from the series. But one of them caught my eye in particular. In one of the opening scenes of the trailer, we caught our first glimpse of Vice Admiral Garp played by Vincent Reagan, and it looks like he's at the scene of Roger's execution. Garp didn't make his first appearance as a character until chapter 92 of the manga, and episode 68 of the anime. That's a bit after the live action series is set to end, as it's said to only cover the first 61 episodes. So the question of the day is, was Garp actually at Roger's execution? The easy answer is, yes. He definitely was. There's actually two really good reasons for him to be there, so let's cover it. The first one is because Roger is quite easily one of the strongest pirates in history. He was literally rivaled by no other pirate, with the exception of Whitebeard of course, who still never beat him. And at the end of the day, Roger was the only pirate to ever finish the quest and become the Pirate King. However, there was one man who actually rivaled him in strength and actually gained a mutual respect for, that man being none other than the hero of the marines, Monkey D. Garp. Garp and Roger actually contended each other very often, except Garp was never able to capture Roger and Roger was never able to kill Garp. In fact, most marines were too afraid to even pursue Roger and the ones who did rarely lived to tell the story. So answer number one to why he was most likely at the execution, Roger is one of the most feared and dangerous men on the earth. And to the entire world, no one knew he was actually suffering from an illness and going to die eventually anyways. So according to all the pirates, residents of Logtown, and even the marines, Roger could just kill everyone in the town because he's so powerful. It would absolutely make sense that one of the strongest men in the world and one of the only people to ever rival Roger should be at his execution. It's all about optics, man. Can you imagine the conspiracies if Garp wasn't there? If I were a Marine that day, I would be like, oh my gosh, at least Garp is here because if he wasn't here and this man wanted to break free, we'd all be dead. And reason number two is the behind the scenes reason that no one else knew. Roger and Garp developed a bit of a mutual relationship and respect for each other. Garp lived for the hunt and Roger lived for the chase, and they enjoyed the battle. There's a reason Garp never captured Roger, and there's a reason Roger never killed Garp. At the end of the day, they put down the marine hat and the pirate flag and just fought like brothers. Roger actually respected Garp so much and his position and power within the marines that he even asked him to safe keep his son Ace. That has to be a true show of respect for each other. And probably the more important reason of the two is because Garp wanted to be there for his friend and see him one last time. It also has to put into perspective how painful witnessing Ace's death and not doing anything about it must have been. So was Garp actually at Roger's execution? Definitely. Anyways guys, let me know what you thought of the trailer and if you guys are actually excited for this live action. I am personally. I think it's going to be very fun and a fun adaptation. It's going to be awesome to see some of our favorite characters be translated into live action. And guys, we'll just have to wait and see when it comes out. And if there's anything you would like any more greater detail on, I would love to go into it. Thank you guys so much and helping me learn as well. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next video.